Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to the West TV, Science for the People. Be a Pisay Scholar, alamin kung paano nga ba makapasok at maging scholar ng prestigyosong Philippine Science High School mula sa kanilang Deputy Executive Director, Dr. Rod Alan Delara. Maya-maya lamang yan, kaya tutok lang dito sa DOS TV Science for the People. E eh, ano ba itong sabong binili mo? Di ba mabula masyado Wala yung sasabon ate kasi tubig po so hard water may calcium at magnesium ions nagre-react sa fatty acid ng sabon. Kaya hindi siya masyado bumubula. Pangpisa ito! Apply now as a Philippine Science High School Scholar. Download the form at pshs.edu.ph. Deadline of applications is on September 1, 2017. The Philippine Science High School System is a service institute of the Department of Science and Technology or DOST whose mandate is to offer on a free scholarship basis for secondary course with special emphasis on subjects pertaining to the sciences with the end view of preparing its students for a science career. At highly competitive ang admission dito. Kaya naman, hindi basta-basta ang maging Pisay Scholar. Pero paano nga ba maging Pisay Scholar? At upang bigyan tayo ng impormasyon, makakasama natin ang Deputy Executive Director ng Philippine Science High School System. Please welcome Dr. Rod Alan A. Delara. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please, uh, bigyan niyo muna kami ng background about uh, Philippine Science High School. Okay, um, the Philippine Science High School system was established in 1963 mm -hmm. by virtue of Republic Act 3661. And the idea was to set up a specialized secondary high school that will, um, that will help in the development of a critical mass of science, science and technology mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the country that will help the country in its socioeconomic development. So since 1968, gaano na... 1963. The law was passed 1963. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. makes us, what, 54 years old oh, now. Sobrang tagal na rin, di ba? Marami na. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, in that 54 years, we have produced uh, a little over 18,000 graduates. Ilang regions, sir, meron tayo? Well, currently, we have 16 campuses, one in okay. each region. Mm -hmm. um, this is mandated by Republic Act 8496 or, or the mm -hmm. Philippine Science High School System law. Sabi nga natin, mahirap ang pagpasok sa Pisay, di ba? At yes. gaano kabusisi well, ang pagpili ng mga estudyante? Well, napakahirap. In fact, before we amend the eligibility to take the National Competitive Examination, or mm -hmm. the NCE, mm -hmm. the NCE is the admissions test to get into the Philippine Science High School okay. system. Mm -hmm. So before we amended the eligibility rules for those who can take the NCE, before you can uh, even apply to take this examination, you need to belong to the top 10% of your class. Okay. The top 10%. Um, every year, we have about 25,000 students belonging to the top 10% of their respective classes, taking the, uh, the NCE. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can, we can only offer less than 1,000 scholarship slots at that time before the amendment to mm -hmm. the eligibility happen. So you can just imagine, then top 10%, tapos 1,000 out of 25,000 lang ang mabibigyan ng scholarship mm -hmm. slot. 
which means uh, you easily belong to the top 5% of the yes. student population oh. in the country. Mm -hmm. So ganun ka competitive, ganun ka select ang mga estudyante sa Philippine Science High School. So masasabi natin talaga sir na mauhusay ang mga estudyante sa loob ng Pisay. Talagang mauhusay uh -oh. siya. Uh, and they will, they will be categorized as belonging to the gifted yes. uh, students. Mm -hmm. At speaking of gifted students, sino-sino na ba sir, kung pwede natin ma-mention siguro, yung mga kilala na o mga notable na uh, Pisay graduate? Marami na tayong mm -hmm. uh, Pisay graduate na nagsilbi sa, mm -hmm. sa gobyerno. Isa dyan ay si, uh, si dating uh, Secretary ng Department of Transportation and Communication, si Sir uh, Secretary Abaya, mm -hmm. si dating Chief of, uh, Chief of Staff ng Philippine Armed Forces of the Philippines, si uh, General Esperon. Mm -hmm. So, marami na. Marami mm -hmm. na. So makikita natin talaga after the nakapag-aral sila sa Pisay, sa gobyerno pa rin, naglingkod pa rin sila sa Pilipinas, well, di ba? We, we, we have alumni in both mm -hmm. the public and the private sector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sa ibang uh, iba't ibang uh, campuses, the same din ba yung mga pinatutupad natin mga regulations? Yes, by mm -hmm. virtue of, of the systems, systems concept mm -hmm. of the Philippine Science High School, uh, we we have the same curriculum and we follow the same procedures and processes. Uh, medyo naiiba lang ng konti ang aming mga estudyante sa main campus, the one in Quezon yes. City, because mm -hmm. the top 240 scorer, scorers of the NCE goes to the main campus. Mm -hmm. So the cream of the cream of the crop yes. ng, ng mga the mga takers ng NC uh, or, or ng mga estudyante goes to the main campus. Okay, sir. Mas palawigin pa natin yung ating talakayan. At mm -hmm. sa ating pagbabalik, pagpapatuloy natin ito, tutukan naman natin itong ang NCE. Sige. Mga kaibigan, manatili kayo nakatutok. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang ating pag-uusap mamaya tungkol naman sa National Competitive Examination ng Philippine Science High School, of course, with Dr. Rod Alan Delara. Manatiling nakatutok. Magbabalik pa ang DOS TV, Science for the People. Nagbabalik po ang DOS TV Science for the People. Kasama pa rin po natin ang Deputy Executive Director ng Philippine Science High School System, Dr. Rod Alan Delara. Alright sir, pagpatuloy natin, um, paano ba o anong kaibahan ng pagtuturo sa Pisay compared sa other school, public man o private schools? Okay, ang isang malaking pagkakaiba sa Philippine Science High School System is that we are a student-centered we take a student-centered approach to teaching and learning. Okay. I mean, this mm -hmm. is the only way to really teach and handle gifted students. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, it means hindi kami masyado sa lecture type of, wow. of, of instruction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lagi namin dinadala ang mga... We, we, we pay special attention to laboratory and practical works and learning outside the classrooms. Mm -hmm. So meron tayong mga pinapakita dito sa DOS TV, yung plug eh, na parang uh, natututo sila, let's say nagbabasketball sila from that activity, yun yung way of teaching nila. Well, yes, because mm -hmm. science is everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in fact, uh, everything can, is supposed to be able, to, uh, science is supposed to be able to explain everything that goes around you. So the whole, the whole world is mm -hmm. your classroom baga. So that's how we, we look at uh, teaching of science. So pagdating sa curriculum, may kaibahan din? May kaibahan. Uh, for one, that we are very uh, focused on STEM subjects. But we also advocate holistic approaches to teaching and learning. Although we are, we are dubbed as a science high school specializing in STEM yes. education, 
hindi rin namin, hindi rin namin, we're not giving less importance to subjects such as, uh, to, to, other to, to, subjects. to other subjects such mm -hmm. as humanities and, and the arts. Mm -hmm. In fact, ang isa sa aming na, one thing that we learned is that the gifted ones are, are good at both science and arts. In mm -hmm. fact, the very gifted ones are even, are equally better in using their left and right hemispheres mm -hmm. of the brain. Mm -hmm. So, magaling sila sa science, magaling din sila sa arts. Mm -hmm. So, magaling, baga, magaling sa academics at the same time, siguro yung extracurriculars. Yes, yes. Post mo, say then. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. yes. So, we also have uh, one other unique thing about teaching and learning in, at the Philippine Science High School System is marami kaming alternative learning methods na, ginaga, gina, okay. na ginagamit sa pagtuturo. Uh, uh, for example, if kung ang feeling ng bata ay he's not getting enough in learning arts, mm -hmm. he or she can go into societies and clubs where he can hone his or her uh, skills uh, in art. Ganun din sa sports, ganun din sa iba-ibang skills that uh, we could not uh, offer through the uh, through the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Kanina nabanggit nyo na rin yung National Competitive Examination or NCE. Mm -hmm. Ano po talaga ito, sir? At ano, paano nagiging proseso dito? Okay. Uh, ang NCE is our admissions test. Okay. Uh, ito ay ginagawa taon-taon mm -hmm. nationwide. Uh, ang, to be able to take the NCE, again, kanina sabi ko na in the past uh, or Two years ago, you need to belong to the top 10% to even qualify to take the NCE. Ngayon, mm -hmm. tinanggal na namin yon. Okay. And the reason why we removed that is because we want to give greater access and opportunity to a greater number of students out there. Uh -huh. Lalo na yung mga, yung mga late bloomers kung tawagin, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. so, so, to qualify for the NCE, all you need to have is a grade of 85% in science and mathematics. Inside. Before ba, sir, anong ano natin, uh, kailangan range ng grade? Dati, dati, dati pa, you need to belong to the top 10% yes, and of course have the uh, uh, a grade of 85% 85 in math and science. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, so ngayon, yun lang ang aming grade requirement. You need to have at least 85% in math and science. And then mag exam pa yun? And then mag exam pa yun. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So paano uh, mga examination, ano-ano yung mga uh, subjects? Okay, the exams... The exam is divided into four parts, uh, which measures the student's scientific ability, quantitative reasoning, abstract reasoning, at saka verbal ap aptitude. Mm -hmm. yes. the, the idea of the NCE is to test the aptitude of students in science and mathematics. Mm -hmm. well, let me expand that. Nilang science and mathematics. We, we call it STEM, okay. science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Mm -hmm. Pero yung ibang subjects, wala na. Wala na. Logic. Uh, it's, <coughs> it's an aptitude test. Okay, uh, so, yun na yun. Okay, so pa after nito, sir, syempre, di ba yung mga estudyante nang magagaling from public school and private school. That's yan. right. Mm -hmm. So, hindi natin pinipili kung sa uh, public school man nanggaling ang estudyante. That's mm -hmm. right. Kinakailangan lang ma-meet mo yung cut of score sa bawat campuses to mm -hmm. qualify for admission in that campus. And any other requirements? Well, you need to be, you need to be born on or after August 1, 2003, which means you should be uh, about eight, 14, 14 years of age before uh, mm -hmm. taking the, uh, the NCE mm -hmm. test. And for this year, kailan yung examination and deadline for submission ng kanilang mga application? Okay, yung appli the application can be downloaded at our website, www.pshs.edu.ph. The deadline for submission of the application is on September 1st, 2017, and the exams uh, will be held on October 21st, okay. 2017. Mm -hmm. And siyempre, pag nakapasok ko na sa Bisay, talagang ibang, <laughs> sabi natin, ibang level eh, di ba? Gifted child talaga lahat ng mga estudyante na nakakapasok. Plus factor, kung maging scholar pa yung estudyante. Yes, well, you see, let me emphasize on that, how good we are, mm -hmm. and uh, humility aside, the passing rate of the Philippine Science High School system at the UP College Admission Test is almost 100%. Halos wala pong bumabagsak sa UP College mm -hmm. Admissions Test. Um, kalahati po ng oblation scholar, taon-taon, 
sa UP. Ang Oblation Scholar po is yung top 50 scorer sa UP College Admissions Test sa buong Pilipinas. Mahigit kalahati po doon ay Philippine Science High School student. For the past 16 years, when we've been tracking the results of our students in the UPCAT, our students' scores in science and mathematics consistently belongs to the top 2.15% of, of the student population. Ang taas nun. In fact, uh, merong, merong isang international, very prestigious international science competition called the ASEAN Plus 3 Junior Science Odyssey. It is, a, it is a, an international competition participated by all 10 ASEAN countries, plus three, China, mm -hmm. Finland, sometimes Korea, sometimes Japan. Mm -hmm. Philippine science, um, we've been champion, we've been overall champion for four consecutive years. We lost the title last uh -huh. year, we lost the title this year and, mm -hmm. and last year, but before that, Sunod-sunod dyan, Philippine Science High School system. Mm -hmm. Ang biro nga ng iba eh, kasi natuto na sila. Eh. Tama. And, <laughs> and, you know, and you know, when we became champion for, for four consecutive years, hindi namin pinipili ang pinapadala namin sa competition na yan. Kung sino lang ang may passport. Talaga? Oo. Kasi lahat magagaling. Oo. Kasi lahat magagaling. Mm -hmm. Which only proves that our, the, yung aming systems approach to education is it's working. The mm -hmm. students are good uh, across the system. Ibig sabihin ba, sir, yung style ng pagtuturo sa loob ng Pisay, kayo lang ba gumagawa nun? Masasabi nyo bang kayo lang yung ganun ang estilo? Although the Philippine Science High School system would be proud to take credit na it's our, it's our curriculum, yes. it's our method of instruction uh, that makes who we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hindi mo rin pwedeng matanggal the fact na itong mga sudyante namin pilina eh. Pero kung hindi kami ganun, I mean, kaya kinakailangan lalo namin galingan. Uh -oh. Kasi yung mga sudyante namin ay magagaling na. Uh Oo, -oh, yun nga sir. Uh -oh. Parang ang hirap nun, di ba, bilang isang instructor, True. tuturuan mo yung alam mong magaling na, di ba? Yes. Uh -oh. Kaya, and the way to do that, the way to teach good students is, is to be able, is to attract the good teachers yes. as well. Hindi, hindi siguro, rin basta-basta. Hindi rin basta-basta, tsaka hindi siguro uh, alam ng marami na pagka ang Philippine Science High School, pag ikaw yung naging Philippine Science High School teacher, entry level, mas mataas ka ng three salary grade yes. compared to a DepEd teacher. Oh. So, ibig, hindi lang yun. May, mm -hmm. Because of the Magna Carta for Science and Technology, mm -hmm. uh, Magna Carta for Scientists and Technologists, May mga natatanggap pa silang additional benefits na hindi natatanggap ng ibang teachers, teachers sa mm -hmm. DepEd or even, at, even in private school. So maganda rin pala, hindi lang sa estudyante yung mga benefits, di ba? Correct. Ang mga scholars ninyo, sir, ano-ano yung mga privilege pala na makukuha ng mga magiging scholar ng Pisay? Well, we categorize uh, our... We, we categorize scholarship based on the actual socioeconomic situation of the child. Mm -hmm. So kung ikaw ay full scholar, you get about 4,000 pesos every month. Every month. In living and stipend. Living allowance and st plus stipend. Halimbawa ang parents, kailangan magkano ang taba ang sinasahod? Well, meron kami point system. Eh. They okay. are to provide, they are to provide as proof of their income, any proof of properties that they own. Tapos mm -hmm. kami nag-evaluate niyan. And depending on mm -hmm. the overall score of the child, Mm -hmm. or whatever assets and income income reported by the parents, mm -hmm. doon kami nagbabase ng kanilang scholarship category. So, iba pang requirements, sir, pagdating naman sa scholarship grant, ano pa yung mga kailangan? Um, ang tawag dito, kailangan ba yung average niya, maintained niya pa rin, or katulad na yung estado sa uh, buhay niya bilang isang mamamayan? Yes, mm -hmm. yes of course. Uh, kinakailangan ma-maintain ng bata ang grade na 2.25. Mm -hmm. Uh, all throughout, uh, all throughout. The, so, yes, yung pagpasok sa Pisay is just, uh, is obviously just uh, the beginning of, of the learning mm -hmm. experience of the child. So, mataas din po ang demand sa bata. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, pero after noon, halimbawa na grant niya scholarship, siguro, 
Uh, ano ang kailangan niya, kumbaga responsibility niya after niya na matuloy-tuloy yung kanyang scholarship? Well, his responsibility is um, stipulated in the scholarship agreement na pipirma mm -hmm. ng bata. Mm -hmm. And one of those responsibility is that after graduating from the system, okay. the child is expected to take up a science course, course. in college. Mm -hmm. Although we're trying to change that. Although we're trying to change that. Kasi... Uh, when I say we are trying to change that, we want to expand the list of courses that students may enroll in college or university. Because at the moment, as we speak, we have about 101 board-approved courses mm -hmm. that students, that beside graduates, should take after finishing high school from, uh, from us. Pero totoo ba yun na hindi siya pwede mang ibang bansa? Pupwede. Pupwede. We do not encourage it but we also do not discourage them from mm -hmm. doing so because you have to understand na, I mean it's sad to say that the Philippines is a third world country there are many things that you know in terms of science and technology that we cannot offer to promising students yes. like those uh, with the Philippine science uh, uh, system mm -hmm. Okay, sir, baka meron pa kay ibang mga mensahe. And once again, siguro, uh, pwede natin isa-isahin yung mga uh, requirements dun sa mga gusto kong mag-apply sa PISAI. Alright. Mm -hmm. And I hope you don't mind if I read okay, from, from, from mm -hmm. my notes. So, iniimbitaan po namin lahat ng mga eligible grade 6 students sa buong bansa upang mag-tender ng kanilang application for admission Philippine Science High School System. The following are the criteria for eligibility. The student must have a final grade of 85% or better in science and mathematics, evidenced by the student's report card. He or she must be a Filipino citizen with no pending or approved application as an immigrant to a foreign country. He or she must be born on or after August 1st, 2003. The student must, must have at least a satisfactory rating or its equivalent in his or her character rating in his or her report card. The student must not have taken the NCE previously and it is preferred that the student be in good health and fit to undergo a rigorous academic program. So yung po yung mga criteria to be eligible for the NCE. Yung application form naman po ay download ito sa aming website www.pshs.edu.ph Kinakailangan nyo po sa pag-submit ng application form na yon ay dalawang identical recent one-by-one one ID photo. Kung kayo, po ay, kung kayo po ay manggagaling sa isang private school, meron pong 100 pesos na kinakailangan pong bayaran sa pagpa-file po ng application form. Ngunit sa public school naman, ito po ay libre. Kinakailangan nyo rin po mag-submit ng certified true copy ng inyong report card. At again, proof na meron pong grade na at least 85% sa science and mathematics. At uh, yun lang po ang kinakailangan para maging, para kumuha ng NCE exam. Any final words na lang, sir, sa ating mga tagasabaytay? Well, all I'm saying is, there's no other school in the Philippines, whether private or public, can, that can ensure a better future for the child in the Philippine Science High School system our reputation, our achievements, both at the local and international arena, speaks for itself who the Philippine science uh, is. So again, we welcome all eligible and qualified students out there to make to tender their application before September 1st, 2017, in time for the NCE exams on October 21st, 2017. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much and congratulations po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Nakasama po natin si Dr. Rod Alan Delara. Kaya naman sa mga nais at eligible na mag-aaral, mag-apply na bilang PISAI Scholar. The deadline for filing of application for the National Competitive Examination is on September 1, 2017. The date of the examination is on October 21, 2017. Makipag-ugnayan lamang sa pinakamalapit na Pisay Campus sa inyo at maging bahagi ng prestigyosong Philippine Science High School.
Nagbabalik po ang DOS TV Science for the People. Alamin ang latest update sa lagay ng panahon ngayong araw mula sa DOS TV Pag-asa dito sa aming weather update. Thank you Ms. Jel. Good morning sa iyo. Good morning din sa mga viewers po natin ng DOS TV. Ngayong araw po at base sa ating latest Himawari animation, eh wala naman po tayong nakikita na anumang low pressure area or weather disturbance sa paligid ng ating area of responsibility na posibleng maging isang bagyo. Sa susunod po na 24 oras ay umiiral pa rin ang ating southwest monsoon or habagat pero patuloy po na humihina ito at dito na lamang sa western section of northern Luzon nakakaapekto. Silipin muna natin ang magiging taya ng panahon for the next 24 hours. Dito po sa may Ilocos region, asahan ng maulap na kalangitan ngayong araw Sasamahan pa ito ng light to moderate rains and thunderstorms na minsan po ay malalakas ang dalang ulan, dulot po yan ng habagat or southwest monsoon. Habang sa malaking bahagi po ng bansa, kabilang na ang Metro Manila, asahan ng bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap na kalangitan at meron din mga pulupulong pagulan or pagkidlat pagkulog na asahan na usually nagtatagal ng isa hanggang dalawang oras. Silipin naman natin ang magigintaya ng panahon sa ilang key metros and city ng ating bansa hanggang sa araw po ng Friday. Dito sa Metro Manila, asahan ng generally magandang panahon at meron lamang mga pulupulong pagulan or pagkidlat pagulog lalo na sa hapon hanggang gabi. Ang range of temperature natin, 25 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Sa mga kababayan po natin sa Baguio City, asahan din ang bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap na kalangitan sa buong araw. Meron din mga pulupulong pagulan or pagkidlat pagkulog. Range of temperature, 16 lamang hanggang 23 degrees Celsius. Sa atong mga kaisoonan din na sa Metro Cebu, magandang panahon din ang mararanasan hanggang sa araw po ng Friday. Asahan pa rin ang mga panandali ang buhos ng ulan. Range of temperature ay 24 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Panghuli sa ating mga kaisoonan po sa Metro Davao ay bagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap din na kalangitan hanggang sa araw po ng Friday. At meron din mga pulupulong pagulan or pagkidlat pagkulog. Range of temperature naman ay 24 hanggang 33 degrees Celsius. Para naman po sa lagay ng ating karagatan, wala pa rin tayong gale warning or banta ng matataas na alon. Kaya't pwede pwede pa rin maglayag ang ating mga kababayan sa alin mang baybayin ng ating bansa. Asahan lamang na minsan ay maalon dito sa western and northern portion of northern Luzon. Si Haring Araw po ay lulubog 6.22 ng gabi mamaya at muli itong sisikat bukas 5.41 naman ng umaga. Yan muna latest muna dito sa Weather Forecasting Center ng DOST Pagasa. Ako po si Benison Estareja na nagsasabing sa anumang panahon, pag-asa ang magandang solusyon. Happy Tuesday po! DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSM BFI Building, 318 Santolon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITAV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.citav.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOSTV, the program that delivers science for the people. Thank you.